A really good morning to Mr. Ami and my fellow friends. I want all of you to imagine that at a young age, you are suffering from the terminal diseases and your remaining time is only less than one month. Your precious life has been shallowed out. You haven't possessed a chance to repay the grace of your parents and you will leave them as soon as you are suffering from incurable diseases. This is a common issue that has taken place in our society and have come under the spotlight across the nation. According to a new state time in Malaysia, there are 5,000 of young adults between the age of 18 and 30 are suffering from the heart attack diseases. Apart from our life have been impeded with the diseases, it has also endured the patient in a painful condition. Today, we will look at how immense the problem is when the students live in an unhealthy lifestyle and why school cafeteria should only offer the healthy options. First of all, we will look at the number of students who are suffering from the chronic diseases in Malaysia. According to BBC News, the number of obese students are accounted to 20,000 people in the year 2019. Foods laden with oils and meals laden with sugar are mostly enjoyed within the Malaysians. Their bus of students who are suffering from diabetes have lost their legs and hands. Besides, students with hypertension have experienced with the difficulty of the respiration. Based on the research study from Malaysia Healthcare, the number of young adult healthy reached 85,000 people in the year 2019. To say this, an unhealthy lifestyle has threatened the student's life. If school cafeteria do not offer the healthy life options, students will end up their life at a young age. Now, let us look at what is the idea to prevent this concern issue. First of all, school cafeteria should only offer the healthy options. Vegetarian food is only approved to be served and high sugary food should be banned in school cafeteria. If vegetarian food is only available as high sugary food are strictly prohibited, students will avoid from eating the high calorie meats and food laden with sugar. Besides, School authority should ensure that all the students participate in the core curricular activity daily. It is because a daily workout will enhance our body metabolism and will result to a robust body. In real life, it is evident to lose weight and enhance in our energy when we are diminishing the high calorie meals and exercise regularly. Some people think that it is impossible to exercise regularly as the students need to concentrate on their studies. However, students can arrange their own schedule with just bare half an hour for daily workout. Hence, students will maintain a vigorous body when the school cafeteria should only offer the healthy options. Please imagine what could happen if the school cafeteria should only offer the healthy options. Students will get rid of chronic diseases and will be more focused on their academics as they have free from the chronic diseases torment. Besides, students will have a longinative life if they have built a strong immune system and a robust body. Whereas, if school cafeteria do not offer the healthy options, students are highly likely to get a chronic diseases at a young age. If you stiff away the students' limbs and snatch away their life at a young age, do you want your children to leave you at a young age? In conclusion, I'm asking all of you to think about how terrible the consequences are if the students do not preserve a healthy lifestyle. Thing is as 
if you are suffering from the incurable diseases and you will leave this one within one month after you are under 18. Please remember, and a healthy lifestyle is the evil of our health and has scattered our life. By taking action on the examples I have discussed today, students will maintain a vigorous body and free from the chronic diseases. If the older generation can preserve this healthy lifestyle, what about you? I'm challenging all of you to action now. As Mason Regas once said, a body without health is like a river without water. Thank you.